So here's these philosophers, and Paul is sharing with a heart for God, but a mind, a brilliant mind. He's articulating the resurrection, the person of Jesus. Clearly enough that they could either agree or disagree, but they could understand what he was talking about. I think it's a great model for us. Christians should be thinking people and deeply feeling people. It's not one or the other. And these things don't have to be like this. They can be like this. They can fit together. So so Paul's presenting this. He's sharing with them. And then the next thing we see in this passage, in verses 19 to 21, believing that many people will be curious and open if we talk with intelligence and grace and refuse to be dogmatic and close-minded. Christians put up walls and we create our own barriers when we are dogmatic and shallow thinking. This is what I believe. It's the only truth. You just shut up because you're wrong. Let's talk more. You know, well, and so Paul is meeting them on their ground, in their place, where they gather. He's talking with them. He's listening to them. And we're going to see as the passage goes on, he understands their background, their culture, their thinking. So we can interact with them. Now, we're, we're not all called to interact on this level. But if you know Jesus, you're called to love God with your mind and with your heart. Both. So we need to develop minds that think well. So verse 19. So then they took Paul and brought him to a meeting of the Areopagus. Now the Areopagus Areopagus was actually a hill. Sometimes it's called Mars Hill if they're using it. Ares was the the Greek and Roman pantheon of gods. Ares had one and the other one had Mars as the god of war. And this hill was where they kind of worshipped and they, uh, that, that, that one of the pantheon. And so the Areopagus is the hill of Ares or Mars Hill where they would gather to think. So they invite him to a meeting of the Areopagus where they said to him, may we know more, may we know what this new teaching is that you are presenting. You are bringing some strange ideas to our ears, and we would like to know what they mean. They actually, here's the intellectuals are saying, tell us more. We are, this is interesting. It make, you know, what you're saying, we understand the idea. It doesn't fit with our philosophy, but tell us more about it. And then parenthetically, all the Athenians and the foreigners who lived there spent their time doing nothing but talking about and listening to the latest ideas. They love to get together and talk about new thoughts. So they actually say to Paul, Paul, will you come and talk more? I think that they opened the conversation because he was not closed-minded. He was not dogmatic. He would listen to them, and he could articulate what he believed. So they began to have a conversation together. I love this. This should, again, be a model for us, that, that, we, that we think deeply, and we can listen well to other people. 